would fully expect him to stand by me if I was going through something like this. I would fully expect that. Really? Of course. God, you make the whole thing sound so spiritual. Like if it is from Tibet or something, see? <clears throat> well, I've never been to Tibet. Can I ask you, what are you planning to do when you're waiting for her to be ready? Are you just gonna like hang around here and spy on him? Not spy. Just keep an eye on him. A protective eye. I think it's just about, you know, um, the beauty of being committed and sort of saying something and meaning it and being the kind of person who uh, um, believes in something and who, who, who's, who whose word is, is uh, is true. Jolene, can I just tell you some of the stuff I would do to you if you would break your conjugal vows and have sex with me? Neil, mm. come on. Mm. I'm not saying we'd ever do them. I just want to tell you about them. You know, when we were talking about the movie originally, Lisa said, you know, this character is like, you know when you listen to those kind of you know, goofy or corny love songs on the radio, but they sweep you up and you can't help but just be like, oh, like I want to be in love and all that. And she's like, that's this character, just willing to, and I think the great thing about this character is just, I'm willing to fall on my face, you know, and that I'm really brave, you know, and, we, and I know what I want and I go for it, you know, and even if I take it to too far an extreme or, you know, some bad things happen to me, I think it's like, uh, I'm sort of free in my own sort of bravery and conviction, and you know, I feel good about myself. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thanks, girls. Have a good day. You too. Thanks so much. Yeah. When we were making, I was sitting in a truck with this teamster named Stevie Z, and Heather walked up and was like, "Hey guys, how you doing?" And then like walked off, and he was like, "So uh, she's your wife in the movie, right?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he was like, "And you leave her?" And I was like, "Yeah, I do. I leave her." And he's like. Is it ever hard being an actor? You know, he just couldn't like fathom. How does a guy leave Heather Graham? But I don't know, but I think it does help add to maybe the fact that my character is a little crazy, maybe. Hey, Jay! Texas! Look, Jay, it is great to see you, but I don't really have time to go out and have fun and stuff. There are certain things that I really like about Carl, but I'm not sure that he's worth all of you think this is a question of worth? No, I just mean that maybe... What if Carl was confined to a wheelchair? What if he lost both his legs? He's not in a wheelchair, Joe. I mean... It's an analogy, Jay. And maybe he's in a spiritual wheelchair. He's in a spiritual wheelchair? Jay... <laughs> he is a very happy-go-lucky person uh, on the outside. Inside, he's tortured and... Uh, but. That, a lot of people didn't pick up on that. That was just something I was doing. But, you know, if it's okay, if you didn't see it. Yeah, he's happy-go, he's kind of happy-go-lucky, but that, that's sort of just the side that we saw in the movie, you know, obviously there are other, other he's not just like the always silly, slap-happy guy. He's like kissing his sister and rubbing up on everybody. He's, uh, but um, that was the role that, 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 that he played. He, the other guy, Jay. The... Now, close your eyes. No way. Hey, just, just close your eyes. I won't do anything. I have no idea. But I think you better stop it. 